Hello there. In this video, I'm going to show you guys how to operate the brand new keyframe editor in DaVinci Resolve 20. Now, this feature is going to make creating animations in the edit page a whole lot easier. So, let's get started. Okay, so now I've got a clip in my timeline. Now, if you remember DaVinci Resolve 19 and the versions before that, how you used to add keyframes was just click on the layer, go to the inspector tab, add a keyframe like this, and you can add another keyframe. And let's say I zoom in on the second keyframe. Now, if you want to see these keyframes, what you used to do was you used to click this little diamond button, which used to be on the top right of this layer. Click that, a system tray would open and it would show you both the keyframes and the graph. But now, instead of that, DaVinci has changed it to two different windows. First one is this little window right here, which says show system tray. Just click on that and a small tray will open, which will give you customization to all the keyframes that you want. You can select both of these, you can move them around and do whatever you want. And the second window is the huge keyframe editor, which is available right here. Just click on this button and there you have it. All the parameters of the video, transform, cropping, composite mode, lens correction speed, everything is right here. Now let's see how to operate it. Obviously there's both the keyframes right here. Now you'll ask me, where's the graph? It's on the top left right here, which is this button which says keyframe curves. Just click on it and there you have it. Now let's say I want to zoom into this graph. This little tool is given here. Just zoom into the graph. Then of course, if I play this video, it's a very linear motion, right? Let's say I want to smoothen it. I can select both of the keyframes like this and then we've got four options. Linear motion, which is already there. Then we've got ease in, ease in and out and ease out. I'm going to go with ease in and there we have it will be a much smoother motion like this. Then we've got two zoom modes. One is a detail zoom, which was this one, which will show you both of the keyframes, current two keyframes. Then you've got a full extend zoom, which will just zoom out to the whole time. Then you've also got the hand mode right here, which is very useful if you are on detail zoom mode. So you can just scroll through the whole timeline like this. Then you've also got add keyframe like this. Just add keyframe right here and then you can adjust it however you want it. I'm going to select the keyframe and just wave it, curve it a little and some weird motion will happen now yeah so you can add even more keyframes you can customize them and let's say if this option is not selected you can select the show handle mode so you can customize your keyframes like this yeah so these are the most basic options you've also got the cursor so you can just move around and play with the keyframes and finally of course you can also pop the whole window out so just click on this little button which says I don't know what it says but it just pops the window out and the keyframe editor will go full screen and you can see all of the parameters down here and the graph above now a few more things i'll close this window they have also given a few options like this display time ruler in seconds or frames you can select either one of those and if you go back to the parameter window you can customize this view right here so you can click on these three dots you can go with display parameters with keyframes so only the parameters which have the keyframes will be displayed here it is very similar to pressing u in after effects if you've used it before yeah then of course we've got all video parameters which we are currently on which is the default mode then you've got display selected parameters so let's say you want only wait yeah i'll deselect all of this now let's say you want only zoom x zoom y and yaw right so you can customize this little view yeah then you've got expand all parameters so let's say if i'm on uh, display all video parameters if i expand all it will look like this but if i press on collapse all only five main options will be visible yeah so i'm gonna go back to expand all and that's pretty much it guys that's how you can customize and operate in the keyframe editor now of course this is in beta so much more upgrades are going to come in later but this is how you can basically operate the keyframe editor for now and of course it's available for all kinds of layers now we have applied it on a video layer but if you let's say add in an adjustment layer uh, let me show you how it's done i'm going to go to the effects panel i'll add in an adjustment clip right over this and let's say i want to add another zoom in right here Perfect. So I've added two keyframes. If I go to the keyframe editor right here, I close the bottom one. There you go. You've got two keyframes of the adjustment clip. You can go to the little keyframe editor and I'll ease in this one as well. So it applies to adjustment clips as well. So you can apply it to uh, basically any layer. This wasn't available in the first beta version, but this is the beta two. So they have fixed that and it's back in the adjustment clip as well. 
so that's it for this video guys that's how you can operate the keyframe editor in the winch resort now i hope you find this video useful and if you do make sure you like this video it really helps the algorithm suggest this video to the needful people also share this video with your friends and consider subscribing to the channel i post such kind of video editing tutorials how to tech videos tech reviews i stream games occasionally and i post some knowledgeable and informative youtube shorts i also have a website where i post weekly blogs about all of this stuff that i just mentioned and i have a gumroad shop where you can get access to motion graphic elements at a super affordable price and that brings us to the end of the video guys thank you for watching the video i'll see you all next time bye bye